Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the UI for Pop Video. So we're going to take a look at the tools of Pop Video, uh, what exactly they do, a little bit of a summary there, and where you can find them. So let's get right into it by taking a look at the toolbar at the top here. So we in the toolbar, the first options we have are Import File, New Project, Open Project, and Export. And you can click and drag these toolbar items around. You can float them over your scene or dock them to uh, various places wherever you'd like. Um, so you can do that. Let's go ahead and go to the file menu. You also have the same options here. Uh, you can import a file or else press control I. And I'm going to import in this video of a mime here, a serious looking mime. So let's take a look at the navigation really quickly. So the navigation, we have an option over here to uh, pan and you can click and drag and uh, you can pan your video around and around like that. Uh, you can also just uh, select the normal arrow right here and hold shift and click and drag to pan as well. So you don't have to have the pan tool active. You can just hold shift and click and drag to pan your video as well. And you can uh, rotate it uh, clockwise, counterclockwise as you wish. And your basic uh, zoom tools right here, you can zoom in and pan over here to get, you know, masking details and stuff like that. And then you can also use this, you know, fit to window right here to fit your video back to the uh, window size. Um, so that's your basic navigation. Let's take a look at the modify tools on the right here, uh, under info, under the info section right here. So we have an info tab, which basically gives you, um, you know, all of your basic info, 1080p, 30 frames per second, 90 megabytes. And let's go to the next tab, which is the edit tab. And here you have your modify tools. So you can see with this brief description here, which each one does, uh, what each one does. So the original video, you can change the output size, speed, frame rate, or format. Uh, chroma key removes the color background, pretty straightforward. And the mask video and image allows you to convert alpha video or an alpha image sequence to a transparent video or further edit the mask area. So you can import in your, your mask and your separate video and combine them into a transparent video or pop video. And we'll talk more about that in a sec. But first of all, let's go to the chroma key uh, section right here. And when we do that, it's going to automatically remove our green screen background, which is pretty cool. And if your uh, background removal is not as accurate as you'd like, you can mess around with these mask color tools, uh, sliders right here. And we will explore that further in future tutorials. But for now, I think our masking is pretty good. We can press play to test it out. And you can see our mime thinks so too. Yeah, thumbs up for the masking. All right. So uh, basically, that's just a one-click chroma key uh, solution right there. And uh, we'll talk about uh, more, more complicated situations in future tutorials. Um, so for mask, video, and image, this section right here, this is where you can uh, load in a video. Uh, could be any, 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 any video format. And you can also load in an alpha video and combine those two to make a transparent video. So say, for example, I wanted to uh, import in a uh, separate video right here. I'll just go over to import file and let's choose a video. I have one prepared here, um, I do believe. So let's go to uh, all files right here. Um, keep in mind that if you select all files, you'll want to get that K-Lite uh, video codec that we talk about in our intro to video import in iClone tutorial. And uh, we'll, I'll provide a link for that at the bottom here as well. I'm just gonna choose the, there's combine I believe. Yep, so there's a combine. You can see there's a regular video. These are MP4s and an alpha video, just small videos, uh, not too detailed, just to kind of give you an example. We'll zoom out here. And so you have this video right here and you have a, you happen to have a separate alpha video of it. So you can go to your mask video image section and load in that separate alpha video. I need to go to the same folder there, which is happens to be in my production resources here under video and we'll go to all files. There we go. So we have an alpha video and it combines the two and you can mask out Shazam, uh, change the mask settings. We'll talk more about that in future tutorials and then go on to export a transparent MOV or pop video. Uh, so we go to export here, you can go to pop video, export AVI, or MOV. And you can choose all these values right here. Um, have fun experimenting with these. You can export with a preview size video in a pop video, and we'll talk about that later on as well. Let's just go back to the edit tab and let's import in that same file that we had before. That was in my pop video resources folder right here. There we go, okay, we got the mine back here again. So if I want to chroma key, one click chroma key, like I mentioned before, and you can also uh, um, adjust the mask settings down here. Now, if I wanted to, you know, say for example, mask out something like our character's head, 
we can go over here to mask tools. You can also press control M and you can mask out stuff individually by using your brush here. Um, you can use your bracket keys just like in Photoshop to expand your brush size and say, for example, I wanted a headless mime. I can just mask out my character's head just like so. And then if we, uh, make the mask invisible, you can see that, uh, well, our character kind of lost his head and we'll have a, uh, you know, video like this. If that's what you wanted, for example, to have a headless mime, you can do it that way. But let's just go ahead and erase this uh, current mask since we don't need it. We'll talk more about uh, masking in the timeline a little bit later on in this tutorial. Let's make sure that's a clean erase there. All right, his head's back on. Um, now, I wanted to also mention as well here that you can choose three separate views. So these are on the top here. We have uh, source video mode. So this is the source video. This one here is the mask video mode. So here you can see the clean white mask that we have. And over here we have the transparent video mode. So this is the uh, final transparent video export. And you can also toggle between these by pressing the one, two, and three hotkeys. Okay, so one, two, and three. Very useful when you're you know going between uh, the masking, the alpha, and stuff like that, and you want to refine your mask. Uh, okay, so let's go to the transparent video right now. I think we're okay. And below export, I already mentioned the export settings down here. You can go to preference, and this will be like your uh, system buffer right here for when you're you know doing all the video functions. Uh, you can choose a folder that uh, creates some temporary files um, that allow you to operate pop video a little bit faster. Uh, and let's go to background options now. So currently we have the default chessboard background. You can select a custom background as well. And you can see we can select the background color, or we can also select an active image. So see, for example, we had a background. Let's double click this active image here. And let's go to my uh, resources folder once again here. And, and uh, we have uh, texture maps. There's a texture map down at the bottom here. See, for example, it's like a kid's show. And we had this like polka dot background. You know, you can have that and just see if there's any, you know, issues with the edge. Um, if there's any sort of art artifacts that are remaining that you want to get rid of. So basically you can test it out in the, the final scenario, like uh, the final uh, video that your pop video is going to be imported into. Uh, you can stretch it out. Um, you can also select to uh, tile it. And we can tile, you know, for example, if you wanted smaller polka dots, we can go two by two like that or uh, three by two. And we get a nice background like this and we can, you know, test out to make sure we don't see anything that we didn't notice before. And I think we're okay. This guy's giving us the thumbs up, so it must be okay. And then you can also, uh, you know, load in an image like, um, I have one saved on my desktop here. Uh, this is a background image. Uh, say, for example, we had a kid's uh, TV show background, uh, something like this. Obviously, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to tile it. We can choose, uh, instead of tile, we can choose something like fit. And uh, it's 1280, uh, 720p, so it'll fit right into our background here. And then you can test out it if it works with this background as well. So what you're kind of looking for in these situations is, you know, um, outlines that don't match the background. Say, for example, we had a bright yellow background or a bright yellow edge outline for our mask. Um, in this case, we don't have to worry about that. But we will explore that in future tutorials as well. All right, now let's talk finally about timeline and playback. So your timeline, uh, your, your uh, playhead stuff is down here, play stop, uh, first frame, frame by frame. And you can also uh, choose to loop. You can also choose to toggle between uh, time uh, time units and frame mode. So frame one versus uh, second zero. And you can also choose to um, you know, increase or decrease your volume. And let's finally open the timeline here. You can also use the F3 hotkey, which is probably the most useful hotkey you'll ever learn. Um, and then down here in the timeline, we have two tracks. We have key settings and brush mask. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our background to chessboard really quickly again. Say, for example, uh, we didn't want our background to be to disappear until, say, frame 60 or something like that. So right now what I'd want to do is go back to our edit uh, chroma key here. I'm going to select my mask uh, color picker. I'm just going to pick the transparent background, and that's going to restore my green uh, background. So right now we have no chroma key going on. And then say, for example, I can click and drag over here um, to go to frame 50. And maybe in frame 50, I want the background to suddenly disappear. At this uh, point, I'm going to select my color pick one more time and then select the green background. 
And you can see a keyframe will appear in my key settings track. And this is the chroma key uh, settings track. You can see from here, it's green. And if we play back, boom, it'll disappear and we'll see our transparent background. And we can click and drag that key to the very beginning if we want. So the transparency starts from the very beginning. All right, now let's take a look at the brush mask. Now this kind of ties in with what I uh, showed you earlier about the uh, um, the mask, uh, masking out your character's head. Now here what we want to do is do some custom masking. So let's go to our mask tools right here and say, for example, at frame 50, I want our character's head to disappear like we had before. So again, we can just, uh, you know, use that same brush and brush it out, get rid of his head, off with his head, and just do something like that. And you can see it'll create a little keyframe in the brush mask track right there. So from this point, uh, if we make the masking invisible, uh, if we click and drag, our character will boom, lose his head, just like that. Where'd his head go? And let's play back right here and test that out. Boom, just like that. All right, we kind of did a messy masking job on the top there, but uh, we're not going for crazy detail in this tutorial. And one final thing I wanted to mention about the timeline here is you can click and drag and move it around. You can double click it, and when you double click it, it'll dock back to the bottom of your screen right there. And we also have the option to, uh, over here in the far right, you can hide auto hide the play bar. So if I click that, whenever our timeline is open, our play bar is going to disappear. So we have a little bit more real estate to work with. And uh, that's really about all there is for this tutorial, guys. Um, let's go back and bring our background on here. Uh, Use a custom background. Yeah, so like I mentioned, that's all there really is to this tutorial. Just a really quick introduction to the UI. And we'll go into more detail on the other stuff, like masking. Uh, probably didn't want to mask his head there. We'll go into other de uh, more detail on the other stuff, such as masking and chroma key and uh, the timeline in further tutorials. So make sure you check out the old forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.